Hello, and thank you for joining the APM Strategy Workflow Integration and Automation Demo. My name is Mark Sinizic, and I'm the Product Manager for the Asset Strategy suite of products. So when we talk about workflow integration and automation between products within the strategy product line, we're primarily discussing integration between the Asset Criticality Analysis Tool, RCM, FMEA, and Asset Strategy. And these types of integrations between the product can make your users much more efficient in how they work through the process of criticality assessment and strategy development based on the outcomes of the criticality assessments. And obviously, having more efficient user experience here is going to help you realize short-term benefits and long-term gain more quickly. So we enable these assessments and we enable them to move through the products in a way that makes the user experience much more streamlined and also helps us leverage the criticality of the system to work into the process that is most applicable. Let's we'll take a look at the demo. In this example, I've got a criticality assessment analysis, and this analysis contains 234 assets. And in particular, some of these have been assessed and some of these have not been assessed, but I can see which ones are my very high, my high criticals, my mediums, and then my lows. And I still have some that are yet defined. But in this example, what I'm going to do is take a look at some of the high critical valve assets that I have as a result of doing the analysis. And I'm going to show some of the integration that we talked about. So I'm going to select valves, and then I'm going to filter down to show only my high critical valves. In this example, we've got some that are very high and some that are high. It's about 14 different valves in this particular analysis. In this example, as the high critical pieces of equipment, one of my needs may be to perform FMEA analyses on these pieces of equipment. And so in previous versions of the product, I'd have to go to the FMEA module, completely separate from this workflow, create the analysis, go look for the assets again, a lot of extra clicks to get to that process. And what we've done is embedded the ability to generate a new FMEA or an RCM or an asset strategy, for that matter, from our example here from our send to functionality. So I've simply gone in and selected four assets in these high critical valves to be included in a specific FMEA analysis. So I'm going to select FMEA. In this example, I can send these to an existing FMEA so I can incrementally build an FMEA across multiple ACAs and go through that method, or I can create a new FMEA on the fly. And I'll go ahead and do that in this example. And I won't fill in all the information, but I've, I've given the required field of the short description and I've clicked send. As you can see, the transaction has been completed and we have now sent our high critical valves to an FMEA. And if I just scroll down, I can see that there's one, two, three, and four. And now I have an FMEA listed. I'm going to go ahead and open up that FMEA and just show the example that now I have an FMEA with the four assets, those four high critical valves that were selected. And now I can proceed through the workflow directly from the criticality tool to build out the entire FMEA, including the failure modes, effects, and everything that goes along with it. The other thing that I can do here, which is really nice, is I can also generate asset strategies or even system strategies directly from the criticality analysis from the collection of assets that I've created. So in this example, I'm just going to search for assets that essentially make up a uh, system, and, and that's this RF097 system. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these, and when I send to now, I'm going to select System Strategy. And what this is going to do is select and create a System Strategy as well as individual asset strategies for the assets that have been selected. And now I see my progress bar indicating that the transaction is being executed. 
and now I return to my ACA. So if I go back and take a look at my filtered example, I can now see that I've got individual strategies all created for the assets that were selected. And if I go in to look at one of these strategies, I can also see that I've created a system strategy that will contain all of the asset strategies that I just requested. So I'm really, really quickly going through and based on the criticality of the assets or the collection that was built, going through and generating system strategies, which saves the user many, many clicks and time to generate these entities and complete the strategy development workflow. Thanks for watching, and I hope this demo has been useful.